On today's tutorial, we're gonna teach you about circle skirt geometry. Circle skirt, there are two measurements you need to know. The waist and the length. Measure your length and write it down. Measure your waist in centimeters and write it down. You may be thinking, why am I measuring in centimeters? But just trust me up. You measure your waist, it's time for the math. So here's the formula we're gonna work on. divided by pi equals diameter, and diameter divided by two equals the radius. Shazam. Pi. Pi equals 3.14 if you didn't know. You can find the radius of the waist so that your skirt can fit and not be too tight or too loose. We're going to use your waist measurement for the circumference. So this is for my baby sister. Her waist is 21.5 inches, which is the same as 55 centimeters. Check it. 55 divided by 3.14 equals 17.55. The 17.55 divided by 2 is 8.75 centimeters. Most people forget to subtract the 2 centimeters for the seam allowance. Subtract 2 centimeters for your seam allowance. The final answer is going to be 6.75 centimeters, which is the same as 2.66 inches. See why we use centimeters instead of inches for the waist? What did you ask? First, you fold the fabric and then in half and twice and mark the length. It's the fabric. Fold it in half. Fold it in half once. Fold it in half twice. Shazam. See that? Look at that. The radius. Then you cut out the length and you cut out the waist. Here you have it. I just cut out the fabric and I'm about to do something amazing. Are right, you check it? I'm about to unfold this, right? And then the circle skirt is going to magically appear. Yo. That dude just happened. On a three four circle circle geometry, see my mom's blog and then visit my aunt Catherine's videos for construction. My mom said people have been asking about the best way to turn and hem the circle skirts. The answer is you don't, all right? You use the hem or the bias tape. Um, this is Lucas the Intelligent Goon signing off.